Hello, YouTube! We're back on the Idle Heroes XC, and the plan here is to go ahead with my account, and it's just to see what progress we can make. It's day three. It's wild. I, I did not expect to do three videos back-to-back, -back, three days back-to-back -back of content, which is pretty crazy, but when you spend early game, there's a lot of stuff to do, and you just get stonewalled by campaign in your level, and when that goes up, you can make more progress. So our next thing to do here is to upgrade a hero to level 160, but to do that... I need to go ahead and make Garuda 7 star. Fortunately, though, I now have a ton of dummies which randomly appeared because, you know, I did missions and stuff. So they're mine. That's nice. So, yeah, welcome to the team. We've also got a 5-star hero shot here, and that's a Rosa copy. That's pretty good. That's another one for us. Lovely. So what are we doing on forest heroes? We have a Rosa. We've got two little dummy guys here. We've got that Garu there as well. So, yeah, we've got a lot of food. We can go ahead and feed those guys and put them into Garuda and begin to make progress. Also, looking at this, I think we're going to get some more 5-star dummies. Yeah, so to get a hero to 160... So I need to get Garuda up to 7-star, basically. So we're going to put in these dummies, Gru and the Rosa we just pulled. Awaken, and there you go, 7-star Garuda has been made. Nice and easy. So let's level her up to 160 with all the golden spirit I have. And ta-da! I should be able to complete that mission, and it's going to get me even more food. So there's a 5-star. There's another 5-star, some promotion stones and stuff. Claim all this, and complete a 6-star or above tavern quest? Yo, I don't think I've rolled... A six dollar or above tavern quest. That's kind of stressful. Let's pull out these things. Please tell me one of these is six. Yes! And I don't have a dark hero. That's stressful. Where can I get a dark hero from? Let's check my bag. Hello, dark heroes. Nope. Maybe I get one in four stars. I did. Oh, thank God. So if we go into the tavern and we go ahead and shoot ourselves off on this little mission, that's good. Then we can speed it up. For a humble price of 45 gems, we can grab all that, get some more scrolls, and yeah, now we're rolling. Claim from the auto battle loot. Well, let's just claim loot here. Use that little glitch to make it think I just claimed a ton of gold, because that's a fun little glitch. It worked perfectly fine. And complete friendship summons three times. Okay, let's just do it a batch of... Yeah, batch of ten. That's good. So that's all ticking over nicely. Claim, and we got ourselves this. A six-star forest puppet. Lovely. So claim that, claim that. We're getting all these dummies coming through. Now I need to deal a ton of damage to the guild boss. That's fine. Let's go ahead and bonk him. So, but again, we're just going to use the same team. We're not going to change anything. And I'm only going to level up as and when we go. Also, guys, little thing. Aspen Dungeon is unlocked and ready to go. So that's nice. We did 7.8 million there. That's good. That's within the bounds of what it wanted. Claim all that. And claim some stuff for having artifacts. And get a monster aura to level... 10. Yes, I can do that. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. That's level 10. Are you happy now, game? Good. Clear stage 10 easy of Aspen Dungeon. Well, guess I need to go there then. And also I need to do 10-10 of campaign. So let's go into campaign. I'm now going to claim that loot. And then we're going to go ahead and smash through on this. We're not going to claim loot again, though. Because it may want us to do another auto battle thing pretty soon. So let's go ahead and smash that out. There you go. These guys are dead. And we're very much nearly at 10-10. Now our level is getting to that point where we're steadily making progress. It's all going really, really good. So loving it. There you go. Killed this thing. And can we get to 10-10? Oh no, you level capped me. That is rude. So actually I need to get to level 67 to make some progress here. That is stressful. Either way, Aspen Dungeon's good to go, and we can go ahead and use this dummy here to advance our Garuda up even more, which is just going to be fun. So if we go back to our heroes, go to this Garuda, and we're just going to pop these dummies in. There you go, ta-da. Stick that there, confirm, awaken. 8-star Garuda has been made. I'm pretty sure I can make 9-star Garuda. If I go to the bag, I have a ton of 6-star chests, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh my god. One of those is going to be Forest Puppet. So we'll pull that out. Lovely. So if I go to the heroes... Oh, oh yeah. There's a Garuda copy. There's a 6-star Forest. Are we going to get another 6-star Forest for doing this? Yes, I think we will. So if I go to here... Oh, now we're talking. Yep. Yep. There it is. Bink bonk. And awaken this. That's going to be a 9-star Garuda claim that. Isn't the glory challenge going to just light up because I did that? It probably is. Either way, for a six-star hero, we get some nice gear. Glory challenge did just light up. It's giving me an elite hero shard. And actually, when we build a forest hero to ten stars, it's going to give me two more loads of six-star forest heroes. Epic. Loving that. So we're going to claim this. Happy days. Let's go to the heroes. I really want to see what we get from this elite shard. Cthulhu again! Woo! 
Guess we're definitely building Cthulhu. I got a ton of copies of him. And he's a ranger. Mmm. Mmm. Cthulhu kind of cool. Because I got Cthulhu and I got the chest as well. Urgh. Fun. Either way, nine star Garuda. Very sexy. To make her any higher, I need two Garuda copies, a six star and a nine star. Now, I have all that minus the Garuda copy. Where am I getting a Garuda copy? Doesn't it give me more? Well, there's a six star forest puppet. That's all doable. Where's the other Garuda copy? How soon does it come? There it is. You see that? It's right there. But that needs me to do like a leveling campaign, right? Stage 11, 10. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hidden away. That's not nice. Why would you do that to me? So, I wonder. Do we have a way to get another Garuda copy? I kind of don't want to force Garuda knowing we're going to get a ton of copies. I don't really want to pull her from this chest either. Again, because I know I'm going to get a ton of copies. So I think we just leave her at 9 star. Don't force it. Don't waste anything. Just let it happen. Also, we got some skin shard stuff here. I know that skins aren't allowed in the IHXC, but it doesn't mean that skins aren't allowed outside of PvP tournaments. So what I'm also going to go ahead and do is just go to Fuse and Replace, and we're just going to merge a bunch of these together, see if we get a Garuda skin. If we do, Poggers. If we don't, that's fine. Daz Moog, kind of cool. Let's go ahead and merge these together. What will we get? If it's the Garuda skin, Poggers. If it's not, it's Mim! Whoo! Yeah! Nice. So we're going to go to our dogs and give Mim a fancy skin. Good for you, man. I think we can level up this Garuda to level 20. Level 200, sorry. So let's get her up to level 200. And we can go send her into the Aspen Dungeon. Got to make sure she's got good gear as well. And actually, can we unlock the six-star chest? I think we can because Sky Labyrinth is here and we have more pickaxe to use. That's right. It's another day. Another load of pickaxes. And when does the six-star chest come with the armor and stuff that's no it's, it's too far away hmm. okay we will just click and hopefully get to another floor because that is going to be a sky chest one i'll just take it anyway so let's get some rewards binky bonky bonk bonky bonky bink uh-oh no halora's active skill definitely isn't coming on this floor yeah we're fine we're fine there it is there's the exit stress and um let's go through get through there and yeah treasure map is on this floor oh but that's just the first level of a treasure map, right? Yes. There. All right, let's back out anyway. And let's go to... Oh, I think the other thing to do here... It's just to go into the Aspen Dungeon, isn't it? So we've got to go and make sure Garuda's got a good artifact for this. Now, judging by the artifacts we have, I'm going to have to give us something smart. Something that's going to work well with how I like to build Garuda. Now, I know I want a Melodic Strings for this. Do I have a chest with Melodic Strings in? is the question. Yes. Right there. Attack, holy damage. Do I just give her attack and holy damage and brute force our way through this? I don't see a reason why not. All right, before we go ahead and bang our head against the wall that is Aspen Dungeon, I'm going to go ahead and bang my head against the wall that is Brave Trial instead. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our monster and make that a little bit stronger because we can, so we might as well. So let's get this guy leveled up. We can evolve him up to, what, 90? That's easy. There we go. So he gets another thing there. And his max level... Oh, I don't have enough materials for that. That's fine. So let's back out. Go throw down our Mr. Dragon. And also pop in our team, which is going to be Cthulhu, Rosa, Mim, Flamestrike, Belrain, and Garuda. These should be easy wins. 100% sure that these are going to be easy wins. Yep, there's a victory. And if I just skip battle through all of this, I think Garuda is just going to smash. Because it's an early account, right? So if you guys are starting an account for the first time, I'm not expecting you to have Mim. I'm not expecting you to have Bell Rain, But I would expect you to be able to build a 9-star Garuda. Especially given the fact that I was able to do this. Because I was literally just handed the Garuda copies for free. Right? This is just what she does. She just stomps. Right? Look at her clearing it. I haven't even had to heal anybody. It's a waste of a revival. We just go into town. As they say. And, um... Oh! Ah! Okay, I got stomped by an opposing Garuda. I got cocky. My bad. Should have... Healed up the team. Alright, let's go. Let's get everyone back on board. That was a mistake, and I will pay for it. But for now, we'll just do that. There you go. The team's kind of back. We shouldn't have a problem killing them, though. Bonk. There it is. Okay, next one. This should be easy-ish. 
Yeah. What? What? Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Annabelle! Did that Annabelle just straight up kill me? What was on that last account? Sherlock, Annabelle, Rogan. Those as five stars killed my Garuda. Oh my god. Kind of strong. Well played, guys. I really don't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to do this. Resurrect. Yuck. Go in. And then just fight. Victory. Please just let me complete the day. Now I need to go heal and resurrect someone else. Uh, we're going to go with the Mim. Because Mim's actually pretty good at killing things. Yep. We've also got this Forkis here. Victory. And then this final one. Atom. Who are you? And I'm just going to resurrect my... Uh, let's just go with Rosa for the buffs. Yikes. This feels dodgy. This feels really dodgy. And we still win anyway. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, that was a nightmare. That that should not have gone as... Well, that, that was just bad, right? Not yeah, okay, we're beaten. That's that's fine. What on earth did we get? A Jara copy? It's not that great, really, is it? No. Oh, what a waste of gems. Either way, we have to do our date of birth as well. What's the date today? Because this counts reset, I'm going to go and say it's the 3rd and the 20th of the 3rd. Because that's when we're recording this. Yes. So it should say, happy birthday. Claim those rewards. Yep. There we go. We'll get some gems. Get a nice avatar frame. And something we can buy. Oh, that's a 6-star orange chest. That armor chest? That's actually... Is that worth buying? For real, is that worth buying? No. No. 6-star armor will come in time. No, I'm not gonna... No, don't get suckered in. Be a smart streamer, Mr. MK. Do not be a dum-dum. Either way, I'm gonna go ahead, stick with this gear. That's good for now. I'm gonna back up. We're gonna go to the bag. And I wanna pull out Melodic Strings. I wanna get ourselves a Melodic Strings on this Garuda. Because Melodic Strings offers attack and holy damage. And that's gonna allow Garuda to absolutely stomp. Now, I could go with Golden Crown. To keep us safe. But they will potentially give Golden Crown for free. Maybe even next event. I don't know. But I highly doubt it's going to be on Melodic Strings for free. And if it is, it's going to be in a chest like this. And I got loads of these chests. And I'm only allowed one Melodic Strings on the IHXC. It's a very important rule. You're allowed one of each artifact. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull that out. There's my one Melodic Strings. And we're going to go equip that to Garuda. So that we can start stomping things with attack and holy damage. It is simply a bonus that she gets energy from this. In fact, it doesn't really help. The energy is not really necessary for anything. So we're just going to throw down a ton of the red stuff in there too. Because that's not very important. So put those guys in. And level this up. Also, Swordfish, thank you for the subscribe. Adding to the clock of the Subathon. Lovely. Either way, as this levels up, you'll see Melodic Strings is about to get to 6 star. And as the highest, I will need it. For the IHXC, which is pretty darn perfect. So, congratulations me. I have a lot of attack and holy damage now on our Garuda. With that stone, we should be fine. Don't need to do anything else. So let's go ahead and see how she performs in the Aspen Dungeon. As well, I get 60 relics for upgrading one of my artifacts. Or just by having one, right? Yeah, obtained one mysterious artifact. Sweet. Loving that. And I get a ton more for making them splendid. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Because that's a waste. Either way, Aspen Dungeon, sending Garuda, everything else is going to be... Doesn't matter, right? Just doesn't matter. Now, the entire of easy is going to be just stupid. I'll do a basic attack. Oh, it's just an active skill, never mind. That wasn't meant to happen. Oh, well, it was because she had more like strings. But if you watch, she's going to do a basic attack, and then she'll join in with her own basic attack. Oh, she doesn't even have to. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, okay. I think we just skip through all of this. This is going to be skip battles across the run. Yeah, victory... And I wish there was a way I could fast forward this, because this is just going to be embarrassingly easy. So yeah, look at that. Every single time we can, just go. Don't even look at the wave. If a shop person comes up, we'll have a look at that. But everything else is just go, 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 go. In fact, we don't even have to look at the shops, because they're going to be added to the Mysterious Merchants. That was a thing that DH Games added, that if you skip a merchant, they just get put in the Mysterious Merchant shop. So, great. You just literally skip through everything. Let's see how far we can go. Either way, we just got to easy 10 and beat that. So that's a happy chapter mission. There we go. But I still can't advance because it wants me to level up. And I'm still not quite high enough to level up yet. 
Darn it. Either way, so in that case, we'll just carry on with Aspen Dungeon. See how far we can get. I reckon we're going to easily smash up through easy, maybe even through normal. I mean, it's a nine-star Garuda. She's just good, right? I don't think there's anything she's going to struggle with. That's good value. I'm going to buy that. A load of heroic summon scrolls. We're going to need those, actually, for next week's event, which is offering... I think it's a big transcendence event, so the more scrolls we can get between now and then, the better. As you can see here, folks, we've easily made it into easy, into the 50s, right? We're not even struggling. Let me just show you how wild these fights just are. Look at that. Double bonk, basic into another attack. We haven't taken any damage on this Garuda yet. She's so good. And then when opponents die, she heals. So if you look at this, oh no. Oh, we took a tiny bit of damage, but oh, we healed because you all died. So... Garuda is bad at late game Aspen Dungeon, but early game Aspen Dungeon? Bruh, she's she's good because she has inbuilt healing. That's all you need. I mean, if this was a nine star Dantalion, it would be exactly the same situation. Any hero with inbuilt healing is just going to do good. In fact, nine star Starlight would be crazy here. But obviously, we built Garuda because we were given copies of her, so we might as well enjoy it. Either way, hopefully we can get through easy 100 into normal and make some more progress after that. We've managed to reach easy 100. No surprise about that one. We got ourselves a solo Gurk. Not even a threat, man. Do we two plat tips? Uh, okay, no, we, we we had to hit it a few more times than twice, but that's fine. And now it's normal one. I just feel bad on all this. Are we just we're just stomping through. You know what? I, I think we can make it all the way to normal 50, maybe even normal 100, without a problem at all. Because if you look at some of the people on the leaderboard, like people have made it all the way up into difficult. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me people haven't made it to normal 50 yet? Bro. Okay. In that case, I'm going to get myself on the leaderboard. This is going to be really easy. People suck at Aspen Dungeon, bro. <laughs> people are really bad. All right, I'll see you at normal 50, folks. Let's go. So, maybe we do die here. Maybe normal isn't going to be as easy as I thought. We don't have much guild tech, and there's four Asmodels. Oh, they bonk, man. They bonk good. Huh. We killed them, though. That's nice. But they do really bonk. Hmm. Watch this space, chat. We might not make it to normal. Normal 50, anyway. Let's carry on. As we're not bonking, Ruda. Heck yeah. And yeah, this is my... Bro! We just died, and I don't know what it was, apart from the fact there was a Gru? It, it, what? Bro? Eh? Gru! Oh, Gru got us! Was it the Gru Heart Watcher wave, or was there a Gru with Asmodel wave? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, how do I see? I can't! I just thought it was a Gru! Ah! Uh... At least I'm in a top 50. But no! No! What happened? Oh, God. Right, Garuda, Rip, Sag. Well, I'm going to buy some arena tickets. That's important. And some wishing coins. And some more arena tickets. And some more arena tickets. And we're going to go ahead and see what she's selling me. Nothing important. And here, nothing at all. Wow. We got stopped. That's fair enough, but I was not expecting it. Yikes. Can we level up now? Yes, we can. Level 67. It is time to advance. Let's go ahead and take this down. And because we're going to get to here, we're going to get to another level in the lovely, lovely campaign. So there's 1010. And we can advance the chapter mission. Oh, it's all good. It's all coming together, guys. There you go. 1010 defeated. Gurk is gone. Land of Fear is mine. Claim this loot. And let's move to the next stage. And I don't want to buy any of that crap. So let's claim this, let's claim that, let's claim these, and do damage to the guild boss. I'm good at doing that. So let's go to the territory, guild altar, and oh, I don't want to screw over my guildmates though. Uh, you know what, there's another guild boss to fight coming soon, and I kind of need to get this damage in, and I don't think this wins, right? Oh, it did? It wasn't supposed to win. Oh well, we got it. Whoops. Um, still counts as damage though, nicely done team. Claim. And auto battle loot is just going to have to come in time. Either way, I feel like today's been a bit of a success. We've done some more stuff in the Skylab. We've built up Garuda to 9 star. It's all happening. And now they're trying to sell me a bunch of stuff that's not really worth it. So I'm going to leave it. 
That's probably the smart thing to do here. The monthly stuff, that's ticking on over. How's our broken spaces? Well, I don't want to start looking at that yet. But we do have tavern quests we can start to submit. Nope, not that one yet. I don't think I'd do any of them. No. And, yeah, all of this seems pretty standard. So... Unless there's a magic game mode that I'm missing, I think we're done for today. So, yeah. The account's coming along slowly. We could build up Cthulhu. That's an option. We've got a bunch of copies. We've got those Balrog copies as well. Two Cthulhu's could be fun. We've also got Guild Tech that we need to advance. And we haven't done Guild Settlement. So I think if we go to Forest, given the fact it's a 9-star Garuda, that's going to advance it a fair bit. Don't know if it advances it all the way, though. No, not yet. So just going to claim that. And we might as well start advancing Warrior Tech. Although... That may want to change pretty soon, because I know we are going for Assassin as soon as we get the chance. I'm thinking Faith Blades, Rogans, that kind of stuff. Well, Faith Blade, Singular, Rogan, even Nakia, which is my little trick up the sleeve that I'm thinking of building. So, yeah, we've got a few chests here all ready to go. We've even got this one. Gotta wait some time for that, though. And I need those Garuda copies, which come later from the chapter mission. So how far are we from that? If we take a look... We've got one Garuda here, and when does the second one come in? When is the next Garuda? Or is it because we bought that chest? I don't really think it is, though. So we got Garuda here from Chapter 25. We get a Garuda from Chapter 30. Wow, so that's Campaign 1310 we've got to get to to get the next copy of Garuda. And then that's going to be 10-star Garuda. And yeah... Then we're going to go ahead and look at someone else to build the 10-star. That's the joys of this account. 10-star is all you need. Genuinely. And it's going to make this kind of playstyle really fun, really easy, and really, really cheap. For Golden Spirit, it's going to be a bargain. So I'm loving that, and it excites me already just thinking about how little I'm going to have to spend in resources. And given the fact we've already got these artifacts coming in, and I've got a ton of glorious relics coming in, I don't even think I'm going to have to spend any money on anything like... Uh, artifacts anymore i think that was it just that one off purchase to pick up the artifacts we did from this event and things are looking clean so i think next time i'm going to join you on this account is when we start building up this garuda and probably when the Holmes jung event comes in when we've got all these heroic summon scrolls to do so between now and then guys look after yourselves get ready for some heroic summons i'm going to keep on buying these every single day pick up them whenever i can and if you look at the bag we're currently on 183 I reckon we can probably get to a comfortable 500, given the event that's coming up, and that should be pretty good. We have a lot of rewards that are coming, I could buy this package if I wanted, but I'm going to avoid it for now. But yeah, a lot of good stuff coming through, hopefully going to get ourselves some nice scrolls. And one thing worth considering for this in particular is when we get ourselves a 10 star in dark and a 10 star in light, we're going to get extra 6 star puppets to make life even easier to build another one. So I'm thinking for the team, we're going to go with 2 lights, 2 darks, because that's probably the most efficient way to do it. I also got a light and dark chest here. Well, that has these in. That's, yeah. I don't know if we're going to get anything good from it, but we can most certainly try. Either way, folks, it's been an absolute pleasure. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to let me know if you're keeping up with the Idol Heroes XC. And also, if you want to partake and make your own account, join us over on Discord because we have a discussion channel where you can share your ideas and thoughts for this kind of PvP playstyle. For more information on the tournament itself, you can go ahead and find a link in the description. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. Until next time, guys, have a fantastic week and happy Idol. No skins? Bro, in PV fucking peace, Meegs. I literally said that when I pulled the skins out. I was like, skins aren't allowed in the PvP tournaments, but I'm allowed to use skins on the account whenever. What you mean? Nope, I made the fucking rules. Someone bans Meegs.